Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders. We problem solve with Temple Builders Safety First. Okay, Temple Builders, let's talk about this simple tool right here. This is a plumb bob. This is my favorite tool, okay? Uh, what you're looking at is a screen. You see, this piece of screen, okay, it's hanging off a nail. So when you get ready to use this tool or this instrument, you want the nail, you see how it's facing down or it's tilted down? That's the angle you want your nail at. And then you, you hang your uh, plumb line. This is the plumb line, okay? Hang your plumb line on that nail, okay? And then attached to the plumb line is, this is the bob, okay? So that's why it's called a plumb bob. Okay, now, if you unscrew the top, I believe this plumb bob is made out of brass, okay? If you unscrew the top, you see the twine goes through the top and then you tie a knot, okay? Once you put it through there, you tie a knot so you can hold the top, okay? Simple. Now, the tip right here, the tip can come off, and I'm assuming you can replace this tip. I ain't never had to replace this tip before. Okay, let's talk about this tool. Now, this tool would have been used before these tools right here came into existence. This is a spirit level, okay? So... This is a plumb bob, this is, or this is a plumb line, all right? This, this, this uh, instrument is used to find plumb, okay? But it's also used in tandem with, it, with a square like this. Back in the day, back in ancient times, it would have been used in tandem with a square like this. This plumb bob or plumb line in tandem with this square would be also used to find level, okay? This all occurred Back in ancient times, when I'm talking about ancient times, I'm talking about Greece, I'm talking about Rome civilizations, I'm talking about Egyptian uh, civilizations, and also, also like Sumerian civilizations. Okay, you could not have a civilization without this tool being involved in building that civilization. This is the plumb bob. This is very handy. Like I said, before uh, the spirit levels came into existence. Okay, now... Also, what people like the ancient Egyptians used to find level is water. See, what uh, the ancient Egyptians would do would, they, I mean, they would, for larger structures, they would dig a ditch or a trench and flood it with water, okay? Because, you know, no matter however you flip water, it's going gonna, it's gonna to find that, it's going to find level, okay? So, they would use water to find level as well. So let's talk about this uh, plumb bob, okay? Um, how I was taught is it points towards the center of the earth, okay? It uses gravity. It's a simple tool. It uses gravity to get its reading, okay? So you can imagine gravity is basically drawing you a reference line. Look at this line. Uh, gravity is basically drawing you a reference line of the vertical plane. The vertical plane, which is plumb. Okay. Now, let me give y'all an example. Okay. I can get this. Of course, you wouldn't use a small level like this to plumb this wall that's over six feet tall, you know. And plus, if you're plumbing a wall, okay, if you're using a plumb bob to plumb a wall, you're going to have your plumb bob at the top and your, and your plumb bob is going to drop all the way down to the bottom of your wall okay, to get it plumb, or what, what they also call true, okay, plumb is also called true, to give it, to get your wall true, and we know it's some, I love this uh, tool right here, it's, it's something mystical about this tool, okay, because also, um, if anybody read the Bible, the Bible talks about the plumb line, okay, this is your plumb line, it, it talks about God um, measuring his, his chosen people with the plumb line, Okay, and like I said, it go real far back in ancient civilization. But however, yeah, so if you look right here, let's look at this instrument. Let's look at this spirit level. So, like I said, of course, you wouldn't use no um, small level like this to plumb. No, what is, what, how, how tall is this, this wall? Maybe um, seven feet, seven and a half feet tall. Okay, so you have a long level. Okay. So if you, if you got a four-foot level, if you got a two-foot level, you can also put your level on a uh, straight edge, 
Okay, and that straight edge can be a, a two by four that maybe you done planed and got real straight. You can put it on a straight edge and that'll give you more, more uh, height. Okay, to plumb a wall. But this, this plumb bob today is used to plumb long distances. Okay, I got it hanging at a short distance right now just for the video. All right, so we look right here. If we can look at the bubble. That seems to be reasonably. Can you see the bubble? It seems to be reasonably plumb and structural. Okay, it ain't perfect. It's not true. Okay, so now we can look at our plumb bob. Let's see. Let's read our plumb bob. How they would do how how you read a plumb bob is you take a measurement at the top. Like I said, you see my nail is bent down. So you take a measurement at the top, and I'm looking at about two and an eighth, maybe a little more, somewhere in there. You take a measurement at the top right there, and then you come down, and you take a measurement right here at the tip of your plumb bar. So you take it at the bottom at the tip. Can you see the measurement on here? And you're looking at about two and an eighth right there. It ain't, it ain't, it's still swinging a little bit, but it's somewhere in there. Can, can they see the numbers? Okay. And that's how you would get your measurement on plum using this plum bob. Okay. Also, this plum bob can also find level. Let me show you how to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. But before I show y'all how to uh, find level, I want to show y'all this, which is um, you got to uh, look, look at your tools and see if they got more than one function. Like this is right, this right here is a chalk line. Okay, it's the Walt made chalk line, okay? But it also can be used as a plumb bob. Okay, but remember a plumb bob is just a weight on a string. You see the, you see the, the shape, similar shape right there? That's intentional, got the point right there. This can also be used as a plumb bob. You see the plumb, plumb bob right here is a cone shape. All right, and so you can use something like this as a chalk line and also as a plumb bob. Okay, simple, right? Now, oh yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, find level with your plumb bob. Okay, now, uh, how, did, how people using these plumb bobs today is you'll see contractors using a plumb bob for um, when you get ready to build your foundation Okay, or you're getting ready to ex excavate a foundation. You want you're gonna set up batter boards, right? And you're gonna have your building line running on those on those batter board on the batter boards. So when your excavators come and they dig out the ground to remove your, your, the dirt for your foundation, okay, and you set your building line back up, that's gonna be the corner of your building. And you drop your you drop you drop your plumb bob from your building line down into your basement to get the corner. Okay, because gravity always has this this plumb line true once it stops swinging. Okay, and you'll drop this down. You'll drop this down. Uh, you know, at the corner of your batter boards and drop it down to what be your your considered your basement. Drop it down, and you'll find your footings. Right, the outside corner of your of your um of your uh, basement, outside corner of your basement wall. And you'll put a stake right there. And that stake will have a nail in it, in the center of it. And that'll be the reference point for your, for the corner of your uh, basement. Okay. Also, how to use plumb bob today is, you can hang this plumb bob on a transit level. If you ever drove by a construction site before and you see them guys looking through that device that's on a tripod. This would be a device that's on a tripod that can either be a transit level, a builder's level, or a theater-like. Okay, and what you'll do is you'll put a slip knot you know, on this plumb line and hang it on your transit level. Okay, and that 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 this plumb this plumb bob the point of the plumb bob is gonna uh, point right at a stake that has a nail in it. Okay, and that's gonna be your reference your reference point or your landmark to show you where you where you set up your transit level every morning. You know when you get ready to do your work. Okay. Uh, all right, let me show you how to find level with this plumb bob. Like I said, it's my favorite tool right here. Indispensable tool. Okay, now, look right here. Now, let's go right here. Look right here. And I'm going to put this 
it's level right here so you can see the bubble. okay yeah so this will be level okay for this table but you gotta understand this table is sitting on, on the ground which is uneven so we ain't really measuring the tables level but we get the picture okay so this is how you will find level okay using a plumb bob okay you you use this plumb bob in tandem with this square okay and back in the days i dropped my plumb bob back in the days what you got the camera on the plumb bob or the square square okay you gotta keep it on the square okay so back back in the days the egyptians would use an instrument similar to this square okay it'll be an a shape or a frame it's called uh the square level and this this speed square is similar to the tool that they used back in the day now if you look at this plumb bob you get it to stop swinging okay go down and take a view of the plumb bob okay now come back up here now the ancient egyptians uh tool which was an a a a, a, a shaped uh instrument similar to this one you see how this this line is going through and it's almost on the 45 level but not quite so the 45 is the center so it's off a little so look at our bubble over here you see the bubble is is is, is hugging one side of the line and so it is it, showing you that this is an accurate tool okay and so we can adjust this but it's not it's not the table that's off it's like i said the ground is uneven okay and this is how you find uh, level with a plumb bob in tandem with this square. It has to, it has to come through uh, right here in the middle. Okay, at 45. Okay, it's very accurate too. I love this tool. Okay, now uh, this is a little tool on the plumb bob. And so this is what it's talking about when it's talking about something being plumb. Okay, you can also find level with this. And here go your square. So you're a carpenter, those three words you definitely gonna have to. Uh, store in your memory banks okay plumb level and square all right so you like this content hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell become my apprentice temple builder